Good morning. I'm Satoru Iwata, global president of Nintendo. The game industry in the past 20 years has grown and expanded extremely well. And so far, it has not been affected seriously by an economic slump. By providing a variety of technological innovations and new hardware, the industry has been able to keep the players' interest and continue to excite and surprise new players. Because of this history, many in the industry think as long as we we'll keep on doing the same things, or in other words, by making games more complex and more photorealistic, the industry will continue to grow. I'm afraid this idea is deeply ingrained in many minds. However, in past examples shown in other industries, there are a few instances that illustrate that business could continue to expand by maintaining the same structure for more than 30 years. Will anyone invent a new framework that allows for further expansion of the industry, or will video game players become bored and cause the industry to continue to shrink? We are at this crossroad, I believe. from Square Enix. The first thing that came to my mind was controlling with one hand. Wow, that's a bold approach. It's uh, great to see the movements of hands and arms, especially the subtle action and twist reflected on the string. The physical feeling you get is more than expected. I believe this will challenge us as creators to figure out how we are going to best utilize this fundamental change. Mr. Hideo Kojima from Konami, you've done it was my impression. This was totally unexpected. I was pleasantly surprised because the controller is quite comfortable yet provides something brand new. Famicom defined a modern controller. It made us control games using the A and B buttons, holding the controller with both hands and facing the TV monitor. We have been doing this for 20 years, and this premise will now be changed significantly. Even though it was a surprise to me at first, once I touched the controller, I quickly understood 
understand how it should be used, much like a remote control for your TV. This is exactly what I was looking for. Mr. Yuji Hori, game designer of Dragon Quest. At first introduction to the controller, I was surprised. There, sh there should have been a controller like this before, but surprisingly, there was not. I believe people will not hesitate to use this controller. Just like a remote controller for your TV, people will touch it without thought to understand how to use it. Starting with DS, I believe Nintendo has made game machines that offer the feeling of touch. The Revolution controller has evolved this feeling of touch even further. Thanks to the efforts of many people in this industry, the power of game software has expanded to reach around the world. We would like to join forces with all the people in this industry to improve and evolve our products so that they will continue to be endured by even more people for many years to come. Thank you very much for listening.